Hey everybody, it's Amy Graham, the Badass Valkyrie, and today I just wanted to do uh, a quick little overview of something that I am learning in this book. And the cover itself actually kind of gives it a little bit away. Teeny changes uh, make remarkable results. This is Atomic Habits by James Clear. And one of the things that he talks about in this video is making a 1% change. And um, I have it marked here. It says, improving by 1% isn't particularly notable. Sometimes it isn't even noticeable. But it can be far more meaningful, especially in the long term. The difference a teeny improvement can make over time is astounding. Here's how the math works out. If you can get 1% better each day for one year, you'll end up 37 times better by the time you're done. Conversely, if you get 1% worse each day, for one year, you'll decline nearly down to zero. What starts as a small win or a minor setback accumulates into something much more. And um, so here is the uh, description where if you have a 1% improvement over a year's time, that's what that looks like. Over, if you have a 1% decline, you just kind of almost go out to zero. So, what I've been trying, why I'm showing you this portion of this book is because that's what actually got me to read this book was 1% increase. And as most of you know who follow my channel, I am a data tracker. I, I track almost everything. And I track my runs. I track my, uh, my uh, water. I track my sleep which I've been doing because of this book. But I also track my steps per day, my active minutes per day, and uh, and how many times I run during a month, how many miles, excuse me, how many miles I run during a month, all of that. Because I want to know what I'm doing. <laughs> and it helps me to go further and to get better. And al although at times it has pushed me into adrenal fatigue, which is a very fine line for me. So that's why 1% better each day just kind of intrigued me a little bit. So I want to know, I want to show you in my Hobonichi Cousin of Beck how I'm doing that. So in my monthly view, in my Hobonichi. And the Cousin of Eck, for those of you who don't know, uh, is a half of a year in one book. So it is six months. This is the July to December um, portion of the Cousin, or of the Hobonichi Cousin. Normally the Hobon Hobonichi Cousin is twice as big as this, but this is just the July to December book. So it's the Hobonichi Techo Cousin 2018 Cousin of Eck. So just so you know what I'm using here. So this is my ride or die planner. If I got rid of everything else, this would always be here. If I didn't have my weeks, if I didn't have my pocket, if I didn't have anything else, I could live my life happily just in this book. So thankfully, I don't have to have just this book. But if I had to, I would do this. So... This is my December uh, monthly spread, and um, so as you can see, I've already written out. Uh, in order for me to beat, I I have to beat July. This was my uh, the month that I've had the most runs this year, and so I did ten runs and twenty five point five one miles. I have to do one more run, and I think four more miles, or no, three more miles. So I have to do one more five k run to beat it. And so I, I, uh, I am not going to do a run today because I have gone two days without my allergy medication because I'm an idiot. And this morning I knew I woke up and I was like, oh my gosh, no wonder I feel horrible. I did not take my meds yesterday morning. So I'm like, okay, I need to make sure I take my meds this morning. Take my meds out and walk out of the house without them, without taking them. And it's because I take my medication with orange juice. I have a hard time swallowing pills without that. And so 
I think somewhere in the back of my head. I just subconsciously blocked it <laughs> because we've been out of orange juice for two days and we didn't go to Costco yesterday, which normally we should, or we normally would have, and we didn't. And now I am paying the horrible, horrible price of two days without my allergy medication and all of that. So yeah, so I'm trying to get back on track. I took it as soon as I got home, but it's gonna take a little bit to kick in. Anyway, <laughs> tangent again. Uh, so this is my December spread, and um, these numbers up here, um, let me see if I can zoom you guys in a little bit so you can kind of see a little bit more. So there you go. Although that's not going to work when I do the, there we go. Okay. So the big number is my daily steps that I've been doing. Now I started this on the 15th, trying to impr improve 1% each day. Had kind of a, like, how do I track going 1% up? It's kind of weird. I don't know how to do that. And I don't get the actual times or the steps updates until I wake up the next morning. And I'm like, okay, this is going to be a great big giant pain in my ass if I have to do this daily. Well, then I reached out to a friend of mine who's a financial analyst. And he's like, you do it this way, dork. You, you take your average steps. So what I did, uh, I based... These this first week, so I started all of this wanting to improve one month one percent each day on the 15th. So, what I did is I took the average of these days, I added up all of those numbers. Um, so 9370, 6823, 7912, 8785, 13320, 10364, and 11534 divided by seven, and that gave me my, my average. And so then what I did was that average of steps per day, I added 7%. So that theoretically, I would increase 1% each day. Please tell me, please don't tell me if that's wrong because I'm not great at math. I, I in fact, I'm pretty freaking horrible at it. So, but that's what he was like, no, you just need to do it this way. And I'm like, okay, perfect. So. Then when I started on the 22nd on uh, last Monday, I took the average of this and I, I did a over and under. So this is where I started. So I left my little sticky note in here so people could kind of see. So my steps goal, and I kind of like was writing it all out here um, at the bottom. So let me pull that up. So I'm adding 7% to set average for the goal. Um, so my, here we go. My weekly total steps were 82,558. So that made my average 11,794. Then my weekly total active minutes was 906. So that made my average 129. Now, if I wanted to add a 7% increase, it was going to be, my goal was going to be 12,620 for next week, for the, for the previous, for the next week. So, uh, that was my stretch goal. So, here, my steps goal was actually 10,411. So, what that was, sorry if I'm confusing everybody. Again, math is not my strong point. So 10,411 is the average steps plus 7% of this, of those, of the week before. Then my average minutes was a lot higher than it should have been. So I kind of did not worry about the steps. So here we go. Uh, my average, my step average was 9,730. And my minute average was 132 minutes, which was higher than normal because I had a couple of days that were like I had 150 or 152 minutes on this day and 181 minutes and 149. So it was kind of out of whack, um, mostly because of my triathlon training and we were doing some testing. So this week, I didn't really worry about the minutes. I, I actually based my minutes off of this week. Uh, so the first week I didn't really worry about the minutes, but that's what it should have been. But again, I didn't take that in consideration. So 
if I took the average minutes, which was 9,730, and I added 7%, it was going to be 10,411 is what I should be, go should be my goal each day. Now, obviously, so if you take 10,411, um, I actually didn't meet it on the 18th, but I overshot it on many of the days. And so on the 18th and the 20th, I didn't hit my goal, but that's okay because I overshot it other days because of my training. So, and because I'm resting every other day, my step counts are kind of fluctuating a little bit because obviously when I have a run, my step count is going to go higher. So this is what it was the first week. So when I did the 15th through the 21st. So then what I did on the second, on this past week, you can see here I have step goal and then a stretch goal because I wasn't sure if I wanted to just take that goal and increase it by 7% or if I wanted to take my actual where it was going to be higher because of my training and add 7%. So what I've done is both. So my act, my step goal to get progressively better 1% every day, my, my regular goal was 11,140 steps per day. My stretch goal, which was 7% uh, on my actual, um, in my total, uh, the previous week was 12,620. So, and then I had my minutes goal, which was 138. Then my stretch goal was 150. So the, um, so for this week, what I ended with was, uh, my step goal, my active steps were eight, 83,379 and my active minutes were 1,000, or sorry, not 1,000. Oh, how I wish. 139 minutes, 0.4. So my, where's my phone? If I, because I didn't write this portion of it down, like a dork. So my calculator, because I'm sucky at math, 83, 379 divided by 7, 11,911. So obviously I missed, or I, I overshot my steps goal, my, my regular goal. I didn't quite make my stretch goal. So I'm in between these two. So for next week, what I've done, or for this current week, is I have added 7% to my steps goal again, which is 11,920. My stretch goal is 7% to this, which was what my actual active steps divided by seven was. And so that's my stretch goal, which is 12,745. So that's how I'm doing my regular goal and my stretch goal. So that I know that at least I'm hitting 1% increase every day, but I could be doing higher than 1%. So as long as I'm somewhere in between here, that makes me happy. My minimum steps or my active minutes goal is 148 minutes per day. My stretch goal is 149 because my average minutes was 138. And so uh, adding 7% to uh, my actual active minutes was 139.4. So there wasn't a very much of a difference. So I didn't meet my stretch goal, but I did meet my minimum goal. So again, like I said, doing, and because I, on Tuesday of last week, I cut my toe at the tip at the edge of my toe. And so there were two days that I couldn't train because I couldn't swim, I couldn't ride and I couldn't run. And so I kind of had to do it a little backwards. So, but I had to let it heal because Saturday is my triathlon. And I'm like, if I don't, I'm going to be in a world of hurt. So, and obviously, you know, everybody's like, oh, well, you know, can't you still swim? And I'm like, no, because I have an open wound and I really don't want to get an infection. So, and because I swim in a public pool, it's like, ah, uh, 
what do I do? So there you go. So that's how I'm tracking my 1% increase. And so I'm just doing steps and active minutes. And so again, my goal for this, for this week is 11,920. My stretch goal is 12,745 for the average for the week. And so on Sunday night or on Monday morning, actually, so that I'll have Sunday's amount, I will go in and I will add up all of my steps. And I, that's where I, what I track here is my steps and my, um, active minutes. So some days I meet it higher, some days I meet it lower, but on an average per week, I am increasing 1% per day. So some days I may not increase 1% from the day before, but that is just way too much to keep track of all at once on top of everything else that I'm doing. So doing it over a weekly basis helps me so, so much. And so I'm going to be doing that over the course of a year. And so that's how I do it. I, I track my steps and my active minutes and I've always been doing that. I track when I run, all of that, how many miles I do. And um, then this, I just have a note in here so that I know that before November 1st, I've got to get, um, I want to get, I would like to get 12 runs and above 25, whatever I can do. But I may only get 11 because then in the back of my head, I'm like, well, in November, you want to get, so I want to kind of beat 11 in November and then in December I want to beat 12. So we'll see. We'll see where it goes. Uh, on the 31st Halloween, that is my 21st anniversary. And so I have that day off. And then on Monday or on uh, Thursday, the first Greg gets surgery on his finger. He's having a cyst removed. And so nothing major, but it's because it's um, near a knuckle. They actually have to schedule a, a operation an operating room and all of that so who knows but um they just need he just is gonna have to have me drive him home and he'll be on pain medication so I'm like I'll just take that day off because just because and then I go back to work on Friday and then on Saturday is my triathlon so anyway I just kind of wanted to go over how I am incorporating a one percent change in my steps and in my active minutes and how I'm tracking that in my Hobonichi. Um, and so I, I will show you this too. Um, again, as I said before, I'm only tracking four things right now. Eight hours of sleep, which for the first time since I started this, I did not get. Um, and I've kind of been, I've, I've put in here eight hours, but I've kind of backed it to about seven and a half seven and a quarter where is, is where I'm comfortable and where my body just kind of naturally wakes up. However, last night I went to bed late because of the walking dead and I could not go to sleep after that. So I only got six and a half hours sleep. So that did not count. So that broke my chain, but that's okay. That's okay. I just start over. So, uh, and obviously I'm not going to get a run done tonight. Um, just because after I realized why I was feeling so crappy, yeah, it would not be good. And yesterday I forced it and I did it anyway because I, when I don't take my allergy medication, it feels like there is a weight on my chest. And yesterday when I went for my run, I was like, God, what is going on? I don't understand why I'm having such a hard time. All day yesterday I was having issues. I had anxiety. I had um, just, I was... A, I had pent up aggression and I was just like, maybe I'm just kind of wigging out because of my triathlon on Saturday. Then come to find out, oh yeah, it's because you didn't take your medication and you can't breathe and you're having a hard time, you're struggling. And on top of all of that, you're cleaning downstairs where there's cat dander and all that, which you're already allergic to and you don't have any medication to combat that. So, hey, on top of all of that, why don't we forget it a second day in a row? Yes, you are a winner. So this morning when I was like, there's not enough coffee for this day, I was like, I don't know what's going on. And then I was, as I was going through everything and I'm like, did I actually,
actually take my pills? And then I had a sneezing attack and I had an asthma attack and I'm like, I cannot physically remember actually putting those pills in my mouth. And I'm like, son of a gun. Ugh! So, hence this. And I'm like, great. So now I have to make sure that I've done my inhalers and uh, make in on top of everything else. You know, asthmatics out there will be going, you really are a dumbass. I had taken out my uh, inhaler and put it on my bike. And because I haven't had, to ne had a need to use it, I did not think of taking it out because I had my last inhaler expired and it was down to like five um, bursts and so I picked up my last one that I had and I'm like oh that's gonna get me through another three months I'll be fine till I leave it on my bike then I don't take my pills for two days then I have an asthma attack yeah so Amy is going to be making sure that one she is taking her her uh, preventative inhaler every night and two is probably going to be doing an emergency inhaler tonight just to help with things and just doing one puff just to kind of jumpstart everything and yeah because I, I normally don't do my preventative if I don't need it and I haven't had it had a need to use it for months and now I'm going to and it's Four days before my race yay yeah not the smartest girl on the planet right now but hey um anyway that is my <sighs> issues right now and yeah I couldn't get rid of my headache I took ibuprofen Tylenol and Excedrin and extra strength Excedrin not was not cutting it at all so anyway but that's what I'm doing for my 1%. Um, and I'm going to be putting down here my medication, tracking that until at least the, after my race. I have not set up November yet, and I will hopefully do that soon um, since I have Wednesday and Thursday off. And Greg will be in the hospital on Thursday. I probably will do that, a lot of that then, since I'll just be home taking care of him. So there you have it and how I am tracking my 1% um, increase every week. So I'm doing that weekly and so far so good. And I've actually met it two weeks in a row. So I'm very excited about that. And we're gonna go ahead and see how that continues to go. Uh, my color blocking is still working great. I've been doing well on that. Um, I've decided not to really color block my weekends and just kinda do it as I go. And that works out great um, but I'm still enjoying it um, it's not as detailed as it could be uh, but it still serves its purpose and it works well for me so there you have my weekly view and how I've been doing things and yeah I've been enjoying it and this this book has been uh, remarkable and I am really enjoying it although I have not yet opened my Bullet Journal Method by Ryder Carroll. Um, I'm about halfway through this book and I'm hoping that by with um, being in the hospital with Greg on Thursday that I and then being off on Wednesday having some quiet time in the morning and getting some quality reading done. So anyway I uh, hope you've appreciated this update and uh, this look into my less than stellar math skills, but that's how I'm trying to increase um, or get better at 1% every day. And if you are trying to do that, uh, let me know what you're working on down below because I would love to know how you're doing it. Uh, not necessarily if it's steps or active minutes or whatever. How are, are you looking at getting 1% better each day over the, next, the course of the next year? And if you are, I would love to know how you're doing that and what you're tracking. So, uh, as always, uh, spend the rest of your life celebrating, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of the week, and enjoy Halloween. I will be enjoying my 21st anniversary, and uh, wish me luck on my triathlon on Saturday. Woo! So, I will try to reach out again to you guys either Thursday or Friday, 
and let you know uh, a lot of my panic, I'm sure, is going to happen. So um, enjoy the rest of your day, and I will talk to you later. Bye.